Shreya loves to cook. If you ask her, there's very little that she can make without salt. That's a key ingredient to her to make something worth eating. My cooking often comes from a box, so I can't really weigh in. When it comes to asset protection, we often tell people you can't do it alone. A high level of asset protection is only achieved by having an independent third party on your team. If you want to protect your assets, you'll need help from someone else. It's the salt of your asset protection recipe. A strong asset protection plan involves you having indirect control over your assets. If you maintain direct control of your assets, there will be no asset protection. Let's say you're in a situation where a judge is making decisions about your assets and life. That judge can order you to take action that benefits your creditors, i.e. pay up. This order includes any and all assets that are within your direct control. In contrast, an asset protection trust provides indirect control over your assets. The independent team members who work for you provide you with that indirect control. These asset protection trust team members are a trustee, a trust protector, or both. An independent trustee will take care of your assets in the trust for your benefit. That means anything the trustee does must be in your best interest. If you have an independent trustee for your trust, you will submit requests for money, assets, payments, etc. to the trustee. The trustee will fulfill your request so long as you are not being forced to make that request via a judge or a court order. A trust protector, on the other hand, is like a watchdog for the trust. The trust protector has the ability to veto requests to the trustee. A trust protector would make this veto if they think the trust assets were in jeopardy, such as a creditor or judge trying to take the assets. They are another check to make sure that the assets are there to benefit you and your family. For the highest level of asset protection, a trust would have an independent trustee and independent trust protector serving as part of the trust team. The best asset protection trust jurisdictions, though, allow you to be the trustee of your own trust. They don't require you to hire an independent trustee. This means you'll be the one in charge of the assets in the trust. This arrangement works so long as there is not an active legal threat against you. If you serve as the trustee of your trust, you must have an independent trust protector on your team. You need at least one team member. The trust protector can then replace you with an independent trustee if there is a legal threat against you that threatens your assets. The trust protector role severs that direct control you would otherwise have over your assets. Remember, direct control equals no asset protection. The trust protector has the ability to veto your decisions as trustee if the, trustee, if the trust protector thinks it's in your best interest. This sounds a little weird, but you want someone to have this control. Remember, that judge ordering you to make decisions and actions for the benefit of your creditors? You want someone there to stand up for you when that request is made. Thanks for watching. I'm Colin Lay, an attorney at Lay Roots and the creator of the Prep Trust. Thanks for watching.